Hello everyone, welcome back to Padli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create Zoho Begin contact from Google Sheets. So let's suppose I'm running a real estate agency and collecting all my customer details in my Google Sheets. And then I'm manually creating contact in Zoho Begin. But now I want that whenever I add a new row in the Google Sheets, which represents a new customer, a contact should be automatically created in Zoho Begin. I can do this automation with the help of Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no coding or programming skill. I just need to build connection between Google Sheets and Zoho Begin. Pavli Connect runs on two principles which is trigger and action. Here as my trigger application I will take Google Sheets where a new row will be added and this complete workflow will get triggered and in my action application I will take Zoho Begin where the contact will be created automatically as soon as the new row will be added in Google Sheets. If you want to learn this amazing automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Zoho Begin CRM contact from Google Sheets. For this, we are going to create automation between Google Sheets and Zoho Begin CRM with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and you can visit this simply by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser. After browsing the website, we need to sign into a Pabli account. On the top right corner, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, click on sign in. But if you are a new user, click on sign up for free and this will give you 100 tasks free on monthly basis. As I'm an existing user, I'll click on sign in. And here a dashboard has appeared showing me all the Pabli applications. Here I need to click on Pabli Connect Access Now. And it has taken me to this dashboard where I will be able to see all my workflows over here and all the folders that I have created over here. If you want to create a new folder, you just need to click on this plus icon and from here you can create your new folder. For now, I want to create a new workflow for which I need to click on create workflow. And now it's asking us to enter the workflow name and select a folder in which I want to save this workflow. So let's name this workflow as how to automatically create Zoho Begin contact from Google Sheets. And now I need to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So these are the folders that I have created and I want to select Google Sheets automations and click on create. As soon as I click on create, two boxes have appeared in front of me. One is trigger, other is action. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is basically an event which starts the automation of workflow. There can be only one trigger in a workflow, but as many as action applications as you want. Here in this workflow, we want to create Zoho Begin contact from Google Sheets, which means whenever I add a new row in the Google Sheets, a contact will be created in Zoho Begin. Whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, this complete workflow will get triggered. So our trigger application will be Google Sheets. And our trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now we need to make connection between Public Connect and Google Sheets for which a webhook URL is given to us. And this URL will act as a bridge to connect my Google Sheets with Public Connect. So let me take you to my Google Sheets. This is my Google Sheets by the name Customer Details and it has first name, last name, phone number and email address. So let's go back to Pabli and over here reading this help desk, we'll make the connection of Public Connect with my Google Sheets. So over here, it's written log into the Google Sheets, create a new spreadsheet and navigate to extensions, move to add-ons option and then click on get add-ons. So let's go back to our Google Sheets, click on extensions, click on add-ons, click on get add-ons. So over here, Google Workspace Marketplace has appeared in front of us. And next, it's written over here, search for and install the Pavli Connect webhooks add-ons and refresh the page. Again, go to extensions, select the public Connect webhooks, choose initial setup and enter the provided webhook URL and the trigger column. So let's go back to Google Sheets and over here search for public Connect webhooks. And it's showing me install because I have already installed this in my Google Sheets. But if you are doing this for the first time, you have to follow the same process and make sure that you refresh your Google Sheets after installing. Now we need to go back to extensions, click on Pavli Connect Webhooks and we have to click on Initial Setup. 
So now over here we need to enter the web book URL and the tribute column. So under this it's written you can get the web book URL from Pabli Connect workflow. So this is the same web book URL which we were provided in a trigger step. So let's go back to Pabli and from over here we have to copy this web book URL and simply paste it over here. Now we need to enter the trigger column. So it's written the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So in this Google Sheets, my final data entry column or the last column is column D, which means as soon as I add data in this column, the complete row data will be sent to public connect. So over here, I will write D and click on submit. Setup configured successfully. Now let's go back to extensions, click on public connect webhooks and click on send on event. So this step will make sure whatever data I add in future is sent to Pabli Connect. Now let's go back to Pabli and over here we can see waiting for the webhook response. So under this it's written, now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do the submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Which means we need to add data in our Google Sheets so as to get the response over here. So let's open our Google Sheets and enter some dummy details over in these fields. So let's say my first name is new, my last name is user, my phone number is, and my email address is new at the rate pablitudes.com. Now, as soon as I've entered data in this column, the complete row data would have been sent to Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli and check whether we have received this response there or not. Over here, we can see we have instantly captured the response. The trigger column was column D, spreadsheet name was customer details, phone number was this, first name was new, last name was user, and the email address was new at the rate pablituge.com. This means Google Sheets is connected with Pabli Connect, and now we need to move to our next step, which is action step. So we want to create contact in Zoho Begin as soon as the new row is added in Google Sheets. So here my action application will be Zoho Begin and my action event will be create contact. Click on connect. If you have an existing connection, you can simply go with save. But if you don't have one, click on add new connection, connect with Zoho Begin. And here I need to enter the domain. So it's written, enter the domain. Your Zoho account belongs to from below. Example this. So let's open our Zoho account. This is my Zoho account. And over here we can see my domain, which is zoho.com. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. And over here I will simply write zoho.com and click on save. So over here it's written, choose the services for Pabli Connect and I want to use Papcon. So I will simply click on submit and over here I need to grant the permission for which I need to click on accept and authorization successful. So Zoho Begin is connected with Pabli Connect and now I need to enter all these details. So the first one is first name. So to enter this, I'm going to use a method called mapping, which means I'm going to enter data from my previous response. So I have received response from my Google Sheets where the first name was new. So over here, I will simply click on first name and then click on Google Sheets and map the first name as new. Then I will go to last name and follow the same process and map the last name as user. Then I do not have these fields in my Google Sheets, neither it's required. So I'm leaving these fields blank. Next, I'll move to email address, which was new at the rate pablitudes.com. And then my mobile number, which was this one. So all these fields are not required one, but if you have these fields in your Google Sheets, you can enter the data using the same process. So mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, it is taken into consideration in these fields. Manually entering the data will make it static and the information will not change even if you have received the new response. Next, we simply have to scroll down and click on save and send test request. So we have received the response over here successfully. Now we need to go to our Zoho Begin and see whether this contact has been created there or not. So over here, this is my dashboard and on the left hand side, we can see contacts. We have to click over here 
and we can see we have instantly created this contact by the name new user. The email address was new at the rate pavlitudes.com and the phone number was this. So as to check whether this automation is working perfectly fine or not, let's open our Google Sheets and enter some other dummy details over here. So let's say my first name is latest, my last name is user, my phone number is and my email address is latest at the rate pavlitudes.com. Now, as soon as I've entered data in this column, a contact would have been created in Zoho Begin. So let's open our Zoho account. And we can see we have instantly created this contact over here. Let's open this. So the name was latest user, email address was latest at the rate pavlitudes.com, and the phone number was this. So to summarize, we took Google Sheets as our trigger application where we made connection with Public Connect with the help of this WebOQ URL. We entered the data in our Google Sheets and received the response over here, after which we took our action application as Zoho Begin, where we entered all these details with the help of mapping. Simply click on Save and Send Test Request and receive the response as new contact in our Zoho Begin account. So we have successfully created automation between Google Sheets and Zoho Begin with the help of Public Connect. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any query, you can reach at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can visit the website given over here. Also, if you find our videos helpful, do share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our channel.